Hello folks and welcome to Point Solid. So today I'm going to be doing a two player run through. Um, I have here player one on this side. I'll have player two on this side because my name is Richard. My wife's name is Jen. That's been done before. So I just say player one, player two. So what do we got here? Uh, well, we have fruit salad. <laughs> Anyways, so we have our three stacks here. I have six cards of each vegetable. Uh, shuffle them all together, uh, then split that into three piles. It says roughly, you know, roughly equal. I literally dealt them into three different piles. You can see that's that's how that turned out. Um, and so what are we doing? We are taking either a point salad card so that we can get points with our vegetables or we're going to take vegetables so we can make points with our point salad uh, cards. That's it. That's the game. Either you're going to take one point salad and say, okay, I'm going to get one point per pepper and one point per tomato. And that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to try to get peppers and tomatoes. Or, oh, actually, or on a later turn, you could say, well, now... Uh, I can take one more uh, point card or two vegetables. So, of course, I'm going to take the tomato and uh, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't actually matter. Oh, that matters. Uh, actually, I don't know if the columns. Anyways, anyways. So, uh, so, yeah, if I did take the tomato and I kept this card on this side, I would, as opposed to that side, I would get, at the end of the game, one point per tomato. Lovely. Um, so that's the trick, isn't it? What's going to be good points and what's going to be good veggies? Can you flip over your card? There is one condition where you can. If it's on the point side, you can flip it to the veggie side. You have that option on your turn. That's it, though. You cannot go the other way. Once it's a veggie, once once these cards have been flipped to veggies, you, you're stuck on veggies. You're 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 making a salad, man. You're not trying to get points. You're not getting points with uh, or the uh, point conditions with that anymore. Okay. Uh, I mean, for the sake of let's just play a game and show what we're doing. Obviously, I might as well just take that, and that's my turn. Um. That's my turn. So player two is going to go, and they're thinking, well, this is going to get you minus two per lettuce, but other cards might come up that say lettuce is good. Uh, take a gamble. You know what? Is it wise to take a gamble? That's why they call it gambling. What do we got? Well, okay. We got here, we know it's an onion, so when we see it on here, we can see that it's going to be an onion. And we're going to see that this is a tomato. Oh, okay, see? See, if I had pairs of carrots and lettuce, so if I had gotten carrots later, I could have uh, paired that up with um, the lettuce. And if I had only two lettuce, but I got two carrots, then I could get five, ten for having a pair. Two pairs, sorry, two pairs. But that is not the case. That is now what that is. So, player one saying, give me points. Player two saying, give me points. Give me veggies or points or, you know what I mean. Okay, so player one. Okay, I'm just going to leave these just so it's clear. This is our, uh, you know, this is our market and this is our us. Now, what is a good? So we have... Three for cabbage, but an ain't no cabbage. Hmm. We have a lettuce card, and this would be an onion card if I took that. I could I could take tomato. I could also... Oh, man. What a risk. Because I was thinking I could also take this, and this has tomato on it, and then next turn get these. That's great. Would player two see that I want tomatoes and just take those? Man. What a mind bender. Maybe maybe I just take these now. So I have my points and I start off or you know, I start getting veggies. So this is from this column, so I flip this to onion and this is going to be a carrot. Okay. So 
player two, who has lettuce, but no lettuce cards. Man, do you, okay. Lettuce, it better be real good for you. Will it be? Some cards would say, hey, get some good points for lettuce. Some cards are going to say, oh, <laughs> lots of onion cards. Some cards are going to, well, I guess with, okay, so this is a two-player run through, so I do only have six of each uh, vegetable in it in the first place. Um, it comes with a lot more cards than that. Three times, that's 18 cards per vegetable, so 108 cards is going to be uh, total if you were playing a six-player game, but we're just doing a two-player, so we took a bunch of cards out. So, uh, sorry, that was the end of player two's turn. So player one is going to go. No peppers, no... Oh, oh, they didn't take the tomato. Oh, they didn't take the tomato. Arg. Ah, oh, but onion. Oof. Ah, oh, now, ah. See, I want that onion now, because look at how good onion is. Three points per onion, but then pepper's no good. But we haven't got peppers anyways. Ugh. And you can only take one point card or two veggie cards. You cannot take one and one or whatever. You 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 choose one and you stick with it. Ah. Uh, but if peppers come out, I don't want to make them useless. Okay. I just said... I don't want peppers to come out and make them useless. I'm going to go all in on peppers. Is that wise? Man, I don't know. I don't know what these cards are. I really don't. Player two. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, I just said I really don't. Mmm, isn't it lovely? Boom, I get 10 points for that at the end of the game. Player one. Oh, yeah? Oh yeah? Well, if I can get another tomato, I can get eight points. Um, maybe I should start getting more veggies. Player two. Okay, so we have cabbage is good for us. Hmm. Onions. You know what? Grabbing veggies first worked out last time. So let's push our luck to see if it will work again this time. Player one. Oh, really? You're going to leave? I'll take the tomatoes. Cabbage and pepper. Player two. Oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't it beautiful? I really didn't know what I put in here. I really did shuffle it normal, you know, like you're supposed to. Player one. We got pepper. Right now, peppers and tomatoes are the only thing working for us. And this is carrot and lettuce, and this is um, onion and pepper. They've been taking onion. Onion's not doing anything for me. And if I get stuck with one of those, onion removes points for me, so I don't want to just grab it. Maybe if I take this one. Oh, man. Maybe. A uh, lot of maybes. Player two. This is a carrot. Mm. You know what? I've gone all in before. I'll go all in again. No idea if that's a smart thing to do. Player one. I am inundating myself with point cards. I really, 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 really no onions. Do I have? Yes, I have an onion. And the, and and uh, flipping this over is an optional. Oh, but then I mess up my tomato plan. Veggie type with at least three points per veggie type with at least two. So if I got this card, I would get three points because I have at least two. Oh, no. If I take that, 
they would get six points if they if they took that. Oh, okay. Man, why can't I take one? Because <laughs> these carrots and this all works together so nicely. Peppers. Yeah, but I need onions for the peppers. No, but then I get peppers. Peppers. Three veggies. Oh, man. Maybe I just take these. Uh, oh, I just realized if I take these, then this cannot be used by player two. Okay. Can no longer be used by me either, but player two. So, cabbage, onion, eight points per trio of a carrot, a cabbage, and an onion. Four points per cabbage, negative per, so negative two points per onion. I am not taking that card because woof, uh, that's what, negative eight points just for that. That's not happening. Uh, if I take these carrots, then that's going to flip over. Man, man, why decisions got to be hard sometimes? Maybe if I take, well, going all in, that's one, and I'll try a cabbage. I ain't playing for smarts, I'm playing for funsies. Player one. Well, I can't get an onion now. Uh, I can flip this over, but that messes my tomato plant. And none of these are onions that I could eventually flip over on my turn. So stay away from cabbage. Uh, well, don't get that card, basically. Or I could and just don't get cabbage and get an e another point per pepper so this would get more one two for this one and if I took this one another one two for that card you know what if I took this I'm guaranteed that even if player two took two I still get two next okay so I don't know which pile has the most maybe I'll just go from this one take from the bottom so that the top one stays where it is Okay, so player two. We have a cabbage, we have carrots. Can I get points for something else? Lettuce, onions. Arg! Minus four points per onion. Wow! But onions are good for me. Only lettuce points. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to get myself onion points then, I guess. Player, sweet. I get a pair of carrots. Okay. A pair or a few tomatoes, a couple of peppers, and a pair of carrots. Lettuce, onion, and cabbage. I don't have a fourth for either one. So carrot, wow, another carrot. And boom. So we'll just oh there's three left. Do that. There are two. Would be good with carrots as well. Very good. Oh, 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 two points per lettuce. Wow. One point per onion. Wow. Minus two points per pepper. I don't have any. I am. That is made for me. Okay. Okay. So we're at one, two, three. We're near the end. Player one. Oh, 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 seriously. They didn't take the carrots. Oh, I get another five points for that. Player two. What is good for me? Lettuce, no more lettuce. Onions and carrots. Oh, I get a point for a carrot. Minus two. I absolutely am not taking that. Okay. Carrot. There are no onions to take. There's no more lettuce to take. Do not take the pepper. It's negative points. Everything else doesn't matter. Oh. Minus two for cabbage. Okay, cabbage is bad for player 
one. Sorry, I'm just looking at my own as I'm saying that. Tomatoes, this would get you one point. This would, nope, no, but it's bad for me. Oh, 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 ah, I'm not going to pre-count. I'm not going to math it out. So four points for you. Oh, oh, you have no onions. That won't matter. Minus two points. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm going to take these. Okay, so we have one, one. Okay, player one. Well, I'm not taking cabbage, but I'm not. Oh man, that would give me negative eight points for the for the tomatoes. And ooh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen points for carrots because I have four carrots. I have four tomatoes, four carrots, four points per carrot, but minus two points per tomato. Ooh. Um, Pepper, pepper is good for me. A cabbage. You know, if I take this, it gets me three points. And if I take a cabbage, it's minus two points. So I'm at a balance of one if I take, nope, I'm at a balance of two. I forgot three and one. So I'm at a balance of two if I take this. Two is hot, no. Oh man, but if I take this, I'm at eight. I'm at eight because I have four and four. Eight points is better than two. But then I'll be stuck with those because they're probably going to take it. Oh, no, no, they're definitely going to take what they're neutral on, which is cabbage. Okay, keep this. Do I want to flip this over? Ooh, ooh, I might want to. Oh, I'm going to. I have the option to flip this over. Okay, so I have two peppers, but no onions whatsoever. And I have carrots, so it's not going to get me another pair because I have four carrots here but it will get me another four points if I flip this over to be a carrot. So I'm not going to score for this. This is a no-brainer. Give myself four extra points. Player two. Get minus two points or nothing. Give, play, give player two minus four or two. Well, yeah, okay. This isn't going to do much for me. All right, whatever. So player one ends up with these. Okay, now we count up our points. So we have, I'm going to need to write this down. Give me a sec. Okay, so this is what player one has all together. So card by card, one point for pepper, three, one point per tomato. Four. So we have seven points for this card. Okay. Now we have three points per pepper, nine, and minus two for seven points altogether. Okay. Eight points per trio. We have a single trio here. Two more of these would have been nice, but five points per pair. That's one, oops, one pair. Two pairs of carrots and a single carrot. So we got 10 points. Now we got four times uh, five, which is 20. Nothing. And minus eight. 20 minus eight is 12. Okay. I have checked my math and checked it. I made my math and checked it twice. I'm trying to make a Santa joke. Okay, so... 44 points for play, uh, player one. Let's do the same thing for player two. Okay, so we got two points per, oh, let's just move this over so you can know for sure what I am looking at. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four lettuce for eight points, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and that's it, nice. 13 for this one. 
the most lettuce, uh, the only one with lettuce in the first place, because those were oh, because those were the point cards of lettuce for player one. So they get ten points. Eight points per trio. There's a single trio there. And one per onion, that's five, and one per carrot for another sixth. Yeah. So 37 for player two. So player one has it this time. So if you had an interest in point salad, if uh, you were like, hey, people keep hyping that up, well, that's it. I like the get yourself some points. I like the draft some uh, draft cards to get yourself points. Uh, I like that at the end of the game, I could just go, you know what, that's what it is now. So thank you very much for joining me as I do a playthrough of Point Salad. Have fun.